Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the O Site Map. This is uh, Copenhaver Acre, and we are getting ready to do O Site Productions. Our goal, if you watched the last video, uh, our goal is to raise racehorses. That's our ultimate goal with this series, is to raise racehorses. Not only that, but to sell five racehorses. And so we are here at 6, uh, 11 in the morning uh, here on the O-Site map. And we are going to get started. The sun's coming up. It's going to be a beautiful day. So we have acquired some equipment. So we bought this Case International Harvester. It's Case International Harvester 1046. And we have a front loader on it with the attachment for uh, bales. Also, we have a trailer. Whoop, what happened to my log trailer? So we loaded the log trailer up. Wow, it's a little too heavy, I guess. So we have that log trailer. We're going to sell some logs. And we're going to deliver logs over to the carton factory. We have a small trailer, front loader bucket, and we also purchased another flatbed trailer so that we could haul those bales back there and also the pig food. We bought more pig food and we bought some seeds. So we're doing pretty good. Now, of course, we don't have a uh, harvester yet. Harvester is going to cost a lot of money. We've got to sell a bunch of log, produce some meat over at the uh, hog production. Let's check our fields. This is field number 16. We have 50% fertilized soybean. And it's growing here. So we're going to hop in our tractor, see if we can get these logs sold Driving over to the sawmill, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to several people. Yazoo, of course, the creator of the map, did a great job on this map. It's uh, very picturesque. Uh, did 
some great work on all of the fields. Um, made it really, really nice and playable. So shout out to Yazoo. Also, uh, shout out to Farmer Play, who has several videos on YouTube, and it's in a time lapse. So it's just uh, the uh, Farmer Play uh, work in the fields, and uh, and then also a shout out to LF Little Farm, who's also had YouTube videos of. Osite map uh, as a content creator as well. So, uh, Little Farm, uh, Farmer Play, and Yazoo. Shout out to them as we're driving over to the South Sawmill. Now, we're going to be using uh, several different mods on this map. Of course, this tractor mod. Uh, I like mods, they add to the gameplay on this map for sure. This first mod, as you can see, is Auto Drive, and we are Auto Drive right now, uh, going down to the South Sawmill. Of course, I uh, made up those Auto Drive courses uh, off camera. Pardon me. I made those uh, Auto Drive courses off camera, uh, make it a little bit easier uh, on the gameplay. Uh, so that is an administrative mod. And then also Global Company. Which Yazoo said that it's compatible with his map. So he suggested that on the download of the OSI map. So we loaded that. Easy Developer app. Um, administrative mod. We have that. Also, multiple missions. And if you've never tried multiple missions, uh, we're going to try it on this map, see how it runs. Uh, it should uh, be beneficial for us. Multiple missions, and those are administrative mods. And then also uh, easy auto load uh, for your trailers, and that's how we loaded this trailer with all of the timber. It's on easy auto load. So uh, some folks may say, well, that's cheating. Well, uh, for this first one, we did that so that we could go and sell it and make some uh, profit off of the logs. Of course, as you can see in the top right hand corner, we only have uh, $930. So we got to get something going. And so we're going to uh, sell these logs, make a little bit of profit uh, for today. And uh, then we will um, also uh, load up some uh, of our production down at the uh, hog processor. We're going to load that up on the flatbed trailer and take it over to the cell point as well. So uh, those are things that we are uh, discussing. Now the use of mods, we're not going to try to go overboard with the mods and just do everything uh, modded, uh, but we are going to use uh, mods from time to time. Of course, uh, our productions on this map are uh, mods, of course, and uh, use some cell points that are mods as well. We'd like to thank you uh, for joining with us, uh, taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, be with us on the Osyke map and hope that we can make it an enjoyable experience for you and maybe you can learn something. I'm definitely going to learn something on the uh, multiple missions and how to do that correctly and make the uh, gameplay more exciting, more fun and hopefully make a lot of money so that we can start our uh, start raising our racehorses. I uh, picked out a, a great spot a building site for our racehorses. Uh, let's pull up the map while we're driving. So we own field 16 and 17 and we also own the woodlot uh, north of 17. Let's go back. So there's uh, standing timber right here north of field number 17 
and then also standing timber to the west of field 16. We own that as well. And if we manipulate the map over to a building site, which is not very far away from our home farm, is this good site right here. It's a good place to build on according to the map creators and let's see how much that costs just to buy the site so we'll go click off of that just to buy the site that's already cleared and flattened a hundred and sixty two thousand dollars now we uh, have a balance of eight hundred and fifty five dollars. We got to go sell some wood. Oh, man um, Eight hundred and fifty two dollars and this building site is one hundred and sixty two thousand dollars Let's see what our debt ratio is right now our debt three hundred and fifty thousand dollars Now of course we bought new vehicles uh, off camera 26,000 well they weren't new uh, vehicles to start out these were used vehicles that we bought uh, new to us uh, new equipment uh, for the farm and also we had a little bit of construction costs of a thousand bucks today also uh, animal upkeep uh, we had to hire a guy to come in and do some work there uh, with the pigs and that cost us $1,500. And so right now, our loan amount is $350,000. That bought the farm, uh, that bought the pigs, that bought everything that we have, the standing timber of the north of field 17 and to the west of 16. So we need to uh, figure out a way that we can buy this field or this property where we can place our racehorses $162,880. So let's get to work. South Sawmill. We are going to sell every one of these logs. About $21,000. Let's go to our bank account. Sold wood. $20,000 worth of wood. Very good. Now we've spoken to the owner of the sawmill and he has allowed us to use his telehandler. So we're going to uh, hop into this telehandler. We're going to go sell or check on our hog production and sell some of those if we can.
driving over to the hog processor. We're going to use this telehandler uh, with the permission of the owner of the South Sawmill. We're going to run over, see how much uh, ham we have, see how much sausage we have, see how much jumbone we have, and take it to the sell point. So sell point for ham. We'll scroll over. I love these icons up here. We downloaded the global icons and much, much better than just the uh, ordinary icons that you uh, have on the map, uh, uh, on the downloaded map. Uh, soybean actually looks like soybean. Corn actually looks like corn. We're going to scroll over and find our ham icon. There we are, we have sausage, we have jam bone, we have ham. So the cell point, uh, jam bone and sausage is going down. We don't want to sell any of that right now. At the agro effect, ham is going at 1824. So we're going to tag that place, agro effect tag so that we can drive over there and deliver our ham if we have ham at the hog production. Off in the distance, there in the skyline, you can see that's exactly where we are going. So hopefully, it will be close by. Hopefully, it'll be close by the hog production. So that's where we're headed. 